I think that there is a art, there is like a beauty in God's creation. And so we just look at scripture, right? And he's saying, light and expanse in the heavens, separate the day from the night, let there be, you know, signs for seasons. So God is all of these things. God is the sustaining force behind all of this. So you could delete the sun, delete the moon, delete the rain. You could delete these things and the essence and presence of God will sustain all things. You tracking? But because he is preparing a place for us, he's making the earth able to be inhabited by us. He's now assigning tasks to the elements that he's created. So he's saying the rain is going to be part of sustaining. The sun is going to be part of sustaining. The trees and their shade are going to be part of sustaining. He's building this system that ultimately is testifying to him. The system is ultimately pointing back to him. It's showcasing him. We go to the woman at the well. Jesus asked her to give her something to drink. And she's like, who are you to ask me to give you something to drink? And Jesus is saying, says to her, in essence, if you know who I was, you would know that I can give you water where you would thirst no more. So the living water, the water that we have that we need to drink daily, if we don't drink enough water, ultimately we die. That water is pointing to the living water. If you go into a room and it's pitch black, you can't navigate. You need to cut on a light that's pointing to the light of Jesus Christ that we need to navigate.